Finding a cause for long COVID, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at the new research connecting many long COVID symptoms to a nerve that runs from the neck to the digestive system. The vagus nerve runs from the base of the skull right about here all the way through the upper torso and it regulates things like heart rate, breathing, digestion and even reflexes like coughing and sneezing. Now researchers say it could also play a huge role in long COVID. We saw that vagus nerve that we know that uh, anatomically, no, it's a really long uh, nerve. Dr. Gemma Lados, an infectious disease specialist in Barcelona, has been working with long COVID patients for 18 months. In that time, she noticed a lot of symptoms similar to vagus nerve dysfunction. Difficulty, for example, with uh, swallowing, difficulty or, or difference in the, in the voice, problems with sweating, um, with the hair rate, with the breath. Lotto's just published a study analyzing 350 long COVID patients. She found 86% had at least three vagus nerve dysfunction symptoms, including 72% with trouble swallowing, 63% with trouble breathing, 47% with acid reflux, and 47% with trouble speaking. Another 27% had inflammation or thickening of the vagus nerve. Seeing all that, Lado says these results, quote, point at vagus nerve dysfunction as a central pathophysiological feature of long COVID. That means treatment is possible. If you can stimulate the vagus nerve, like with, like with um, ultrasounds here in the neck, it has the capacity the capacity of modulate the, the inflammatory reaction. Lados isn't the only one suggesting some type of electric therapy for long COVID. In addition to stimulating the vagus nerve, other doctors are looking into whole body electropulsation to improve symptoms. EECP is time to the patient's heartbeat. Flow Therapy, a company in Texas, tried enhanced external counterpulsation therapy, or EECP, on long COVID patients. It's typically used for heart conditions to improve blood flow. But after a month of treatment, Flow Therapy found 97% of the people in their study saw improvement in chest pain. 88% were less fatigued, 83% could walk farther, and 63% reported breathing easier. EECP is not FDA approved for long COVID, but studies like this give people hope for more treatment options and more ways to get back to their normal pre-COVID lives. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Well, Dr. Lados will present her findings on the vagus nerve to the European Congress of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases next month in Lisbon.